All right, hello everyone. I'm um, gonna do a little bit something different. Normally, I was gonna do um, I was gonna talk about Leo today, but I'm gonna hold that off till about Saturday or Sunday. Um, and the reason why is in school we're going over our dissertation topics and problems and things of that nature, and I'm doing this video because basically I want. Um, feedback from anybody who wants to give it to me about, you know, if they, they like what I'm doing, if they don't like what I'm doing, why. Um, so, my, uh, so a little bit of background, I, I have a Bachelor of Arts degree in English, I have a Master of Business Administration, and I'm currently a scholar um, in the program of um, a Doctorate of Management for organizational leadership. And my um, topic, uh, the, the, the problem that I'm trying to, to solve is to influence behavior to help that, that influence the behavior that will eventually solve the disconnect between society, economics, and the government. Um, because all three of those and do not understand each other's needs and if we can influence the behavior in that direction then we can find a very good positive solution that takes care of all three of those needs um, uh, and so my um, the, the way how I'd want that to, to end up um, going through is through unitive leadership. It's the highest form of leadership and it requires a spiritual essence, a, a realization that everything is one, which is why I bring in hermetics. Hermetics, the foundation, I mean the first principle of it is all is mind or all is one. So to me that just naturally fits in. So I'll be um, doing I'll be definitely talking about the seven principles of hermetics and how that can influence us to that direction. Another um, thing is um, uh, because it derives from hermetics is Carl Jung's individuation and alchemy, especially the um, the Rosarium Philosoph Forum, those um, which are things I'm currently discussing um, because that will help um, integrate and move people to be. Uh, more selfless and not so egotistical. Um, um, so that is another portion that I'm bringing in to help influence behavior to create the change. It's the behavior that's going to create the change. I'm not sitting there saying, I'm not trying to figure out solutions within each one. I'm talking about influence, influencing people's behavior to create the change. Uh, and then, um, and so, um, Hermetics, Alchemy, Carl Jung, um, the Rosarium Philosoph Forum, um, and all that um, can create the foundation for unitive leadership. And unitive leadership is something that no organization right now is doing. Because, um, nobody has that essence in them to create such a change. I did, um, so, um, that is the foundation of it. I'm still building upon it, which will come through, but those, those are the beginnings. This, this is what I'm doing, and I'm hoping that it's the beginning of a new journey for me. Actually, I mean, it is. Um, and I'm quite excited about it. But I'm also interested in hearing your thoughts so far um, in doing that. Um, so, and then about the future. Um, in 2024, and this is probably why I feel that my paper is so important. In 2024, we will get a president. We will elect a president that will begin in 2025 and that will begin to unite us. Um, and we will come to this peace and harmony um, and uh, a better world for America 
which will eventually translate into a better world for the world. Um, there's still going to be some chaotic things going on, but America will have, will, will be working together, and we will be creating change. And but there's going to be still heavy chaos on the outside, um, and all that should be resolved by 2030. Um, and 2030 will begin a new world. Um, a new philosophy, the, the age of Aquarius will fully set in and that's a lot of this chaos is really the battle between two ages right now in our consciousness the, the one of Pisces and the one of Aquarius and that's why we're, we're in this struggle and this fight between these new and old ideas but the new ideas seem to um, authoritative um, and that needs to lessen. Um, we, we don't want a dictatorship, we don't want an authoritarian government, um, we want one that still allows freedom of peace and choice and everything of that nature. Um, uh, but I know it will happen. It will. It must happen. Out of all of this ugliness, this chaos, this these horrible situations that have happened just not here but around the world, something beautiful must emerge. And and I believe that it will. Maybe just not believe, maybe I know that it will. Um, and I hope my paper influences that because my paper should be done in January of 2023. So yeah, yeah, if I'm in the beginning stages of all this and that's how long it's going to take to write this paper. Um, so now to my novel update. Um, my novel is in the works. I have completely finished it. I do still need to add more words and everything like that and edit it, but the whole basic structure of it is done. Um, now, I didn't know that my dissertation paper was going to... I was kind of caught off guard. I, I didn't think. I was thinking maybe... 20, 30 pages for a dissertation paper, but no, 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 no. I'm probably going to be writing about 87 to 100 pages probably on this, and that's going to take away from my novel time, even though it's just editing. I'm a very, very thorough editor. Um, so I was hoping to have my novel done by September, but that might get pushed back to November, December, January, February. Because um, I got a three week break somewhere in the beginning of next year that I can't remember. Although my goal is still to get it done by September. Um, I'm still hoping for it. I'm still thinking that way. But um, I just want people to know that there might be some obstacles in that way when it comes to my dissertation because that's a little bit different research, a little bit more um, energy. I mean, just to put it up, I was up to like three o'clock in the morning last night doing my homework. Now, the good news is, is I don't sleep that much. So I sleep about four hours before I wake up. So I mean, I was up and ready to go to do more homework by seven o'clock, um, and which I did, you know, because um, I had to talk about, you know, the problem and, and how I'm going to do my research and and uh, it's it's a very daunting process. Um, so, um, I just wanted to, to lay that stuff out there for you, um, and also, um, to think positive, um, I encourage it always, I mean, there's been studies proven that, that positivity keeps viruses away from your body, you live longer, you're happier, you're healthier, um, positive mind, positive life, positive thoughts create a positive reality, negativity and hate and do not do anything. Just I, I don't care what the situation is. You just got to start getting those thoughts out of your head. I, it, it doesn't matter you know, what's going on in your life. If you continue to think negative or negative about situations, it's just all going to go down to the ground. And you're just not dragging yourself down that path. You're dragging others down that path too that care about you. So, let's start thinking positive, people. Let's not let fear creep into our head because fear is the mind killer alright fear will prevent you from living out 
what you need to accomplish in your life. So let's start thinking positive. Let's get all this negativity away. And from that, we will create a better future. Behavior influences everything. Thoughts influence everything too. Um, so I believe I, yeah, I feel like I'm pretty good and done. Um, so I will hopefully see you in um, Saturday or Sunday. Hopefully I'll have time to do it. I'm pretty sure I'll have time to do it on Saturday or Sunday. Um, but if not, definitely Monday, hopefully. Um, there, but yeah, Saturday or Sunday I should be able to, to do the video on Leo that I was going to do today. Um, but I hope everything everybody's doing good. If you need any help or need to find any kind of situation that leads you to help, I'm pretty good at finding resources, you know, look up what your state can do, things of that nature, although I hope everybody's doing a lot better than they were maybe a month or two ago when this whole thing started. Um, so my best thoughts to you. I hope everyone's doing okay, and as always, peace out and think positive.